Okay. Then Biden please explain to me why it's a good idea to have. Oh, I don't know. Uh, drag queen story hour in local libraries with four year olds. Or in schools. Why is it a good idea? Yeah, why is it a good idea? Or, or do you just I think it's that? personally, I think it's a neutral idea. Why is it appropriate for for teachers to read to kindergartners by by binary? Because it's a book they want to hear. I mean, no, like I, what? the kids are way too. The ki- the, hold up, the kids are way too young to know what the binary is. Okay, then they won't. Well, wouldn't wouldn't they understand? Because they don't have a concept of like, they don't have like a super hard concept of gender yet. Usually, I mean, they know like. A boy right, so why girl. is there why is there a book wrote in the first place? Iron Bellet, why is but there yeah, I didn't act- write a book, I don't know. Like I've why, never read it. Why are activists pushing for trans kids? By the way, I, I mean, have a story of, by the way, I have a story odd. of one who transitioned to thirteen and now basically says it completely ruined her life. Yeah, detransitioners are valid. They're they're allowed to detransition if they don't feel right afterwards. What about Jazz Jennings? You're you're gonna yeah. sit there and tell me that Jake was right to say that my parents abused me because they slapped me. In my opinion, but too. but but uh, but but, you're, okay, but, but 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 uh, those parents weren't weren't in trouble because you know they used the dick saw because their you- kid felt like a goddamn girl. Do you think parents should have their rights taken away if they don't identify with their child's sexuality? Okay, that's, that's what California on. pushed. That's a lot to that's a lot to do in one thing. Hold on. All right. Kids should ha- kids should get whatever treatment they need to be healthy. If their parents stand in the way of that, then yes. But, but we're not talking. Should, should wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! We're not talking about cancer. We're not talking about a disease. We're talking about something. Gender dysphoria is a disease. We're talking about. Yes, well, then if there's a disease, there's a cure. There's a therapy. Yeah, the cure is transitioning, Dave. No, it's not. It isn't. Because the suicide rate five years after transitioning is the exact same super high rate, if not higher. Why is the suicide rate so high, Dave? Because they're living. I can tell you. No, it's because of social pressure. They've no, done it's plenty not. of studies no, about this. No, all right, you can not. disagree. You're wrong. All right, just being Wait, a child, all right. are you a heterosexual male? Mm, maybe not heterosexual, but I'm a cis male. All right, for the most part, let's just say let's okay. just say yes. Okay, let's say Blair White came on to you. Would you fuck her? No, but because of her personality, not her, not her body. Okay. Let's say. Are some... you saying what? Am I physically attracted to her? Yeah, basically. In a general sense, sure. She's not my type, but really? I can admit, I can say she's pretty. Okay, then you're Romani? bisexual. I. That's not an insult, nor is it like a bad thing to me. I don't no, care. but you're bisexual then, because okay. there is no way in heaven or hell is that, that supposed I to be a gotcha? Ever fucking fuck. What should she do? Blair. Jazz Jenny should have been allowed to grow up as a boy, and then at 18, when they're an adult, and again, you can argue the point 18, 21, <laughs> I don't give a fuck, and then decide. Oh. That's what it should be. But here's the thing. It should not be. Once you're 18, you're, for the most part, pretty well through puberty. I yes! Think. Now, hold on. It's a little late to do a lot of things transition wise at that point. I get don't good care. Well, I care about people's mental health and if they're happy. So you think, okay, okay, let me ask you another question. Mm-hmm. Do you believe that it is right or okay for a mom to take her 15 year old son to get a tattoo? Do I personally think that's okay? Do you personally think that's okay? If the kid wants a tattoo and the mom is willing to sign off on it, sure. Even well, if it's illegal. Well, hold up. Bo, a lot of states would disagree I, with Like, you. legally, whatever. I'm saying personally, I don't care. That's That'd be fine in my book. 
if the parent seems says it's okay and the kid wants the then tattoo, why in the care. fuck is it legal to give kid puberty to give a kid puberty blockers far because before as far, that? As far and as we not know, let them get a right tattoo. Now, because as far as we know, as of right now, puberty blockers are relatively safe and reversible. No, they're not. No, they're not. They are. They are well, not. I, no, they are not. I just okay, throw a read a That's goddamn funny. story. There was just a story on the front page of Yahoo today that wow, no Yahoo news. Great man. I like. I don't care, man. I've read all the stuff. From all the doctors and the CDC and all that stuff and all the studies are doing. As of right oh, now, that's the CDC. best option we have. Maybe there will be a better one in the future. But as yeah, of right it's now, called let the them wait, let them wait till they're adults. Well, then they're probably gonna slit their wrist or blow their brains out. Really? Frank, because suicide Frank, rates for Frank, that for teen, trans gen- teens is Frank, very high. Frankly, the majority of gender dysphoria is not actual gender dysphoria. I don't know what that means. The, basically, they wear a dress for two weeks, and then they decide, oh, wait, I like being a guy. Okay, is that bad? If somebody yes. says... Well, yeah, because, teenage- hell, if you raised me, I wore a dress for for a fucking week, you'd think I was You're making fucking gender... Up, no, I'm not. Kids don't put a dress on for a week and then go to the doctor and get on hormones. It's a very long process. No, no. no. Oh and my God, you don't get this. I was five when I did it. Oh, you're talking about that story you told me. So, okay, so as a little kid, you put yeah, a dress on and like parents take dress would have taken me, and then the doctor would have put me on puberty blockers. I don't think that would have blockers. happened. Then. Now, if you wanted to wear a dress really? every day and wanted to be called a different name that's more feminine then took to the doctor, then yeah, that that would be and some And that would have still been bullshit. At. You can think that. That's fine. Hey, what way? Look, Iron Gullet. Gullet, your side has been losing and losing hard. Heck, your side has just lost Hawaii. Do you think I'm a Democrat? You're a leftist. Do you think Democrats are leftists? No. But still... Uh, but like you I think, I think, I think I, wait, here's the thing. I think you're a small splinter cell of the Democrat that just happens to be very loud. But the, here's the thing: when the Democrats abandon you, which they eventually will, probably in the la- in the next election, Democrats cycle, have abandoned me ever since I've had these opinions, man. Like I don't believe like really I, anything. Like I, I said, in. like I said, when they abandon you, you're going to be sitting around and realize just how small your fucking tribe really is. Do you think that leftists think that, like, we're the most popular, like, demographic in America? Because we know we're not. You uh, guys think you are. Really? Because, like, thank you. Some of the T-Y-T, opinions I hold are popular, but, like, not. Kyle Kalinske seems to think that. Uh, pretty much everybody seems to think that. I don't that. watch Kyle Kalinske. Like, I don't know his, I don't know his views. Well, TYT you know does. What? I don't watch TYT either. The Humanist Report does. All right, all right, all right. You know what? You know what? Fuck it. I'm just saying, I don't watch any of those people. What? Like, I don't what know are, their what are your? What are your? What are your? What are your? What are your, poli- what are your political opinions? That, that are so fucking popular. Give me a subject. Uh, okay. Gun control. Gun control. I am a hundred percent in favor of guns. I've got one within two feet of me right now, and I own multiple. Okay. But you said Kyle Rittenhouse should have been killed. Yeah, because if I showed up in a fascist. public place with a big rifle on my arm, I would expect to be a target. That's how guns work. He was allowed. Your popular vote would have allowed L.A., New York, and Chicago basically, basically decide who the president's going to be. That's not fair. Do those places have the most people living in them? It doesn't matter. They get to have their say. This is why I also think governorships should be decided by an, by an electoral college. I feel like y'all just don't like the popular vote because that would mean conservatives would lose every time because they're not popular. Really? Yes, they're not popular. Then how did Trump get seven million dollars over the course of two days? Because shot some folks like to spend money on stupid things. Why is why Dave? Do you want to tell him? Like yeah, no duh, they're gonna buy a T-shirt with his mugshot on it. 
I mean, Biden's super unpopular. No one likes him. Really? Who? Well, then, if Biden doesn't work, who are you? Are you going to argue Biden's popular? Well, who the fuck are you going to throw your weight around? Cornell West, Kamala Harris. Yeah. I, I agree. I don't like any of the Democrats. All right. Like, so who Bernie do you is throw, like who do you throw the your best? I guess. Who do you throw your support against? If I were to give you I'm, a choice between Joe Biden, Donald Trump, mm-hmm. Dr. Cornell West, and whoever the Libertarian Party candidate is. I guess Cornell West. But well, grudgingly. So you're a socialist. No, I'd throw my vote away. You're a socialist. I guess if you want to put that word to it. I don't like it's whatever. I'm mainly my concerns for politics. My biggest one is healthcare. I mean, again, here it's oh they'll stable oh. most hospitals will stabilize you, and then you don't get to stay longer. Oh, granted, it depends if it's a charity hospital, a teaching hospital. There's a bunch of different kinds, but a lot of the time they will stabilize you and kick you out. Well, most of the time when they stabilize me, that means I'm fine, so I don't need to be there. How long are they supposed to actually keep me when I'm fine? I mean, until you're well enough to leave. I mean, look at, look at, let's just say for an example, having a baby. Like once you have the baby, a a woman has, you know, whoever has the baby. Yeah. They, uh, you're out within like a day. has the baby. Only women have babies. Let's be clear. Well, not really, but no, I'm saying, they keep no the men have because... babies. No men have. No, okay, no, no. We're okay, not. Go- we're not going beyond this. Take a deep no breath. men have babies. Say it. People who identify as men could have a baby. No, no, they do not say it. Men do not have babies. Only women have babies. Someone who identifies as a man can have a baby. Nope. No. Only now women... a biological man would have trouble having a baby. But somebody who identifies as a man could have a baby. No, they don't. Only Penises women. Aren't good for giving birth. Only women have babies. I want you to say that. Well, you can wish All right, shit in one Fuck it. Either say it or I'm booting you. I yeah, because you're scared and you don't want to talk anymore. I know. Oh really? I'm scared and I don't want to talk anymore. Yes, you do this every time, Dave. Power Frog, when the fuck have I ever done this? You Literally haven't. every time you talk to Day, uh, Jake, when you, you talk haven't. to Sarah, when you talk to any of us. I mean, really? You cluster, really, you really when, draw man. a line in the sand and leave. And uh, you know what? I, 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 I'm not going to kick you. I am going to mute you for a minute. When the fuck have I ever done that? You have never done that, Dave. I mean, you can get your balls polished all you want. Like, we know it's true. Really? Yeah. You know, it's funny. I'd love to hear something funny. Jake knows I'm on right now. He can come on, defend himself. (laughs) Do you think Jake's paying attention to you? Oh, yes. Oh, God, yes. Do I think he's paying attention to me? Dude, it's so crazy how much you think he cares about you. Like, listen, I care about you because I think you're funny, <laughs> and I make videos. And yet you cut up his streams. I am obsessed with <laughs> content. Jake's already content. bent the knee to me. I don't know why you would say that, but he has, then he I would not co- make he videos. He cover me in his last, yeah, one last day. video. Yeah, one day. It was just one day. Oh, really? really? He might not tonight. I don't know. I don't. I don't talk to Jake. I'm sure you do. I, in fact, I know you do. Because I, I mean, was, in the Discord, but like I was, not, but, I was like, I spying I on his. I was spying on his thing on on one of this uh, one of the other uh, Dave uh, Dave's cooking show streams. I was on because I was hoping he was going after my cooking videos. And I, mean, I don't talk um, to him personally. Oh, oh like uh, chat, yet, actually, yet, but... yet, yet, you get it. You get noticed by the chat. Yes, I'm sorry, I, I'm calling we have a dis- bullshit Dave, we have a Discord server where we talk to a bunch of people. Oh, Dave, 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 
I just real I just realized I said I said I was going to tell you about how a parliamentary how how essentially how essentially the UK political system works works you say you didn't know how it works okay. and I said I would do do it I'm sorry I said and I said I would do it the next time I was live well I was on we were on call okay okay it, it's simple simple basically the prime minister is the leader of the party that gets the majority of seats in parliament that's how it works so basically if we were a parliamentary democracy as post monarchical states in europe are kevin mccarthy would be our prime minister great if I, said, if, I, if I said if i said i don't give a rat's ass about the rest would you be would you have hurt feelings no thank god i don't give a rat's ass about the rest i'm more speak, he's not my friend i don't know him personally well if you talk to him online i know you have i mean and, is if chatting in someone's Twitch video. stream makes us friends i a lot of people are friends with a lot of people my point like, is this my point is this okay Let's just go with this. Let's assume you've never talked to him. You've ever done this. You've never done that. You've been a fan of his. I publicly call his fiance a whore. And he does nothing. Right. And that doesn't diminish your your opinion of him as a man. Jake is a very even-keeled guy. It takes a lot to get him upset is what I've noticed throughout the years. Personally, it would upset me more if you say you called somebody I know a whore, but like not to the point I'm going to scream and shout. I would probably just be like, oh, okay, fuck you, man. Well, Iron Gullet. Like, that's about it. It's not exactly an insult if it's true. Okay, well, I don't, I don't care what you all consider to be a, quote, slut or whore. Like, I don't care. People can have sex with however many people they want to. That's their choice. All right, so what are we doing, boys? We just sitting here? Sitting here while I weep. Okay, so you want to be a dramatic little baby? I I can understand that. No, he weeps for his he weeps for his gender. Yeah, that's fucking cringe, dude. What's cringe is. So are you, man? You're incredibly you. cringe. The way you act in Dave's chat, it's like, Jesus Christ. He is not going to notice you every time you say something. Nor does he expect yeah. me to. <clears throat> nor does he but fucking he stuff I, nor does he fucking like, expect out, me to. Shut up! Well, are you going to talk? Or are you going to sit there and pow? Iron, iron gun. I'm mostly you, know what? You, know you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? If I want to sit here in silence, and I want the chat to sit here in silence, that is my goddamn choice. Remember whose stream you're on. Community, they don't. So desperation plays no part in theft. Nobody is desperate in America. Not a chance. That's just fucking untrue, man. No, it's not. You're just making things up. No, it's not. Okay, prove to me where desperation Dude. exists. Homeless people. Nope. They're, they choose to be homeless. Nope. nope. You said homeless people. Like no, no, no. Oh, you're mad I got there for you? Because I'll, yeah. No, the no. Same shit they, had, they have shelters. They have EBT. That they are, have WIC, there aren't enough for everybody. They have, they have, they have welfare. They have Yeah, because that's so housing. easy to get on in this country. Yeah, because it's getting on a super website, easy motherfucker. Oh, a website exists? Iron wow. Gullet. That means it works Iron perfectly. Gullet, I was homeless. I, I'm sorry to hear that. It's I wish you easy I didn't to, have to get off. I have seen that. I have seen. I have seen. Listen, you are a I victim of poverty, people. and most, and that means you're a victim of capitalism. No. Did you make horrible? Did, were the reason you were homeless all your choice? Did you choose it? Capitalism saved him from it, motherfucker. Yeah, that's not fucking true. 
So Bullshit. yes, it is. Yes, it. And uh, yes, and it uh, Iron Gullet, let me ask you this: You're a champagne socialist, aren't you? You grew up with rich parents. No, we were not particularly rich. Where did you grow up? South Carolina. Where in South Carolina? The upstate. Ooh, the upstate. I, I think that's kind of rich. That is, you know where the upstate of South Carolina is. It's on the border of there in Georgia. Hmm. Oh, excuse me, the Piedmont. It's on the edge of the mountains. Well, the bottom. Really? So mountain, 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 line, mountain, mountain line property... No, it's not mountain lion. It's at the bottom. Mountains are very big, and the hills go a long way. But mountain lion property. No, it's at not the mountain mountain property. bottom of the mountains for skiing. There is no ski. What? I live four hours away from any mountain. We're just at the bottom. The Smoky Mountains are very big. So living at the bottom of the Smoky Mountains, one of the most iconic mountains? No, the Smoky Mountains are not here. We are on the edge of them. They go further north. I live right on the border of Georgia and South Carolina. It is just called the Piedmont. You said you lived in the north. No, I didn't. You said... Well, you upstate. Said upstate. Upstate means something different in the state. The place I live is considered the upstate of South Carolina. There is no it's place general. in heaven or hell that you lived upstate and been with Georgia. So you know South Carolina's geographics and all the towns better than me, a person who's lived here my entire life? You would border Tennessee. South Carolina does not border Tennessee. It is... I live in the southeastern part of South Carolina. Excuse me, southwest. Next to Georgia. I really don't feel like giving you the town. Okay, Iron Cold is right. Shocking. I know where I live, but that being said, it's a pretty small town. Grew up with a lot of medical debt because of my chronic health issues. My parents worked very hard to keep us in a house, and sometimes we almost lost it and didn't have food. Then why didn't they apply for welfare? I was on Social Security as a very little baby, but amazingly, it took two years to get me on it and multiple letters to multiple senators. Hmm. Because my dad made slightly too much money working full time to get on anything else. Because he had to keep a roof over our head and me at the doctor and my us in clothes. And it's a very slim margin if you qualify. Really, because any other state that I've lived in, any other state I've worked in, any other state that I have uh -huh. had dealings with, it's pretty fucking easy. I'm glad you could make up a story to make you feel better, man. That's my life. It's I don't know what to tell you. All times. Yeah, they have a chemical dependence that makes them no, want to do it. They do not, and they also all. So you're just have, saying you're, you know also, you know also better all, than every doctor. Every they also ever all that you know. have the ability to stop. Is that why you quit drinking? Then I want you to quit drinking. All right, what's in it for me? A better liver. I don't care about that. What's a in longer it for me? life? Even though I know don't you care. don't want to live long because you're borderline suicidal. It sounds like. Tell you what, tell you what, I will give up drinking for six months, you put up $10,000. I don't have $10,000. Well, then why the hell should I do it? I, I don't know. Hey, you can drink yourself to death for all I care. Then fine. Why the hell do like, you care, why the hell do you care about the, uh... Because the you're such an indignant that little neither, boy that, that neither of, people that hate neither you. of us give a shit about then. I care about people. You're the one that's just no, you don't. weirdo. You just proved it by not caring about me. Do you want me to care about you, Dave? I proved my point. You don't give Do a shit. Do you want me to care you, about Does you? Does it bother you? I don't you care do about you. You do not give a shit if I live or die. Because you, you're so just awful that but you make people not like you. But if, if, if you were empathetic, 
You would still care if about exist. me if you would still I thought care that proves, about that me proves no matter right, what. Though. Why are you mad? So you care about me then? I care about you in the sense that you're a human being and I wish you could be better and healthier. Except a, I'm perfectly But the healthy. way you act, you make people not like you. Except I could give a shit less about that. I, and I know you're an antisocial weirdo. Really? Yes. Well, I'm sorry. I don't you push want to people be a away so people asshole. can't get close to you because you probably got hurt before and don't want to be vulnerable again. That's very common. I push away people that I've gotten close to. How many people every fucking day, every fucking day come to my goddamn stream? Dave, these people, it's parasocial. These aren't people who are like your friends. You do know that, right? Power Falcon, are you a parasocial that just, I don't know, gets... A hundred percent. I don't need his answer. Really? I, 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 I've already beaten you. Uh, listen, I know you think that, man. You can't I'm glad you live in this world. Points. The fact you think this is like a serious thing that's like something to win is an interesting take. All right, you know what? I'll, I'll give you something. Give me, Give me ask me a question, whatever you want, and I will respond, what? no matter what, Iron Gullet. Do you feel that you are a hypocrite when you all the time refer to most women you watch as whores, sluts, implying they had sex to get their power and all that stuff, but you expect people to get mad when you call personal women in their lives the same thing and that you get upset if somebody were to call your mother or something or your sister or anything. Yes. I'm completely justified in it. One. That wasn't the question. Okay. Repeat the question. Do you think it's hypocritical? Do I? No, I do not. All right. Why? I'm completely really justified in calling women whores, bitches, sluts, cunts, whatever, because of the individual actions the individual women take. I have never once denigrated women as a group. However, you're goddamn right. I will be defensive if they attack a woman I care about. Same thing as you don't give a shit when men, when all men are called creepy pieces of shit by a Lots bunch of, of men fucking are creepy feminists. Of shit. Or and I'm or and I am speculating here. You're here. You believe all wi women women when they claim sexual assault. You know what, Power Falcon? Uh, sit out. Right. Got it. Okay, Aaron Gallet, explain it. I have, never, I have never, I have never, I have never once denigrated women as a whole. I have denigrated. You actually women. have. When? Let me. Let's see. You say women uh, are just bad women, at being wim, in women, business. Women They're bad at making money. Women initiate seventy percent of divorces. They are not the majority of. They are. The, they are not the majority of CEOs, and most businesses run by women fail unless they are supported by the rich Dennis husband. I base this on simple facts. But you say, when you say stuff like that, you realize there are reasons these things happen. It's not just because of women. Society makes this happen. No, society does not. Women are just shitty business owners. Okay, just then you said women are shitty business owners, implying all women. Well, your average woman opens up a business because she wants Roll it back. to... Roll back those goalposts. You're... Allow me to explain what I mean when I say that. I am not rolling yeah. back the goalpost. I am proving my point. Women generally open up a business because they want to work at something they don't want to work at particularly hard. 
work the hours they want to work, and then go out to lunch with their girlfriends. Which so again, making... which again is usually supported by their rich husband. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're mad men are rich enough to support women. No, I'm not mad about it. I don't care. But let's okay. just say this: women are nowhere near on the same level as male entrepreneurs. Wonder why that is. Because women don't want to put in the work. Why do you think women don't want to put in the work? Because they're women. They 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 want to start well, a business. That sounds like a generalization they, they, to me, they, buddy. They, they they want to start a business generally. Are there exceptions of yes, of course. Oh my God, you're going with the exception. That's not an argument. I don't. Yeah, you know, you're not making a good one either, man. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Go to your local candle shop. I guarantee it's run by a woman and it's closed more often than it's open. Okay. Does every woman own a candle shop? Are there no. not women who work? I mean, most women work like full time. No, they don't. Thanks. Your average, your average, you telling, wo- you your think, average, you your think. average woman, according to the U.S. according to the U.S. labor statistics, works about thirty four hours a week. That is not full time. Do you think those stats might be weighed a little bit by the fact that women are usually expected to stay home with children? Nope. Well, then you're just fucking dumb. Well, you're fucking dumb because most of those women are single moms. Now, who initiates 80% of the divorces? Women. They made this situation for themselves. Maybe men should be better and be better partners so women won't want to divorce them. Uh, Women do not like simps like you. What makes me a simp? The fact that you're bootlicking. That I respect women? The the fact that you're, actually the fact that you said that argument, yes. I thought you said a while back that women aren't good at raising children and that men should hold the, the main uh, part. If I ever said that, then... I believe whatever. you said it in... Well, I'd love I don't to know see proof it of it. From. Oh, you can't provide proof. What a I mean, it's in one of the videos I'm looking at right now. The one I made, Dave's Divorce from Reality. I believe in that one you said women don't really have a place in raising children. They're not tough enough or something along those lines. I might have been Not have to watch it. I might have been talking about specifically sons, mm-hmm. because yeah, women are terrible at raising men. Right. Only men can raise men. Right. Were you raised Spartan? Nope. Did your mother have a part in raising you? Yep. Well, I guess you turned out like shit, huh? According to you, if women don't have a place in raising boys. Nope. Well, I guess your arguments don't make any sense. I was raised in the household that gave us, you know, the goddamn crew that fucking landed on the moon. So every person in that generation is can, can say they helped keep people on the moon? Are there fuck-ups? Yeah. I mean, if so, so were my parents. They were alive when the moon landing happened. Yeah, both my ma- my mom and my dad slapped me, and he thought I was abused. What yeah, a fucking great, pussy. My mom spanked me a lot. Sounds like y'all just had lazy parents who didn't want to deal with you, and so they hit you. Sometimes it's the only way to get the message across. I mean, yeah, if you're a bad parent, sure. I've been through more hard. <laughs> I've been through hardships. <laughs> okay, say your two-year-old is crawling his way, or one and a half-year-old is crawling his way to an elect- electric outlet. I would pick them up and take them away from it with I a paper clip. Them. I would pick them up and take them away. And uh, honestly, I a good sh- parent should I be watching them before the they do out- that. I slap the shit out of my nephew's hand. Yeah, I bet you. And did. he never did it again. Problem yeah, I bet solved. You did hit children, dude. You're fucked up. So, tattoos aren't medical procedures deemed by a doctor. Tattoos are just art. 
but you are also promoting cosmetic surgery, which is not a medically necessary surgery. Yes, it is. It keeps them from killing themselves. Oh, my God. No, it doesn't. The numbers no, do, are not on your side. That's what that means. Really? Is that why five yeah. years after they take the fucking surgery, the numbers of suicide are just as from... high? All right, listen, Dave. That's from social pressures. No, it's not. It's because yes, you're it living a fucking lie. No, it's not. You're just yes, it a is. big man, baby. Who's crying yes, and kissing it is. Himself. Look it up. I have looked it up. That's Iron, why I'm right. No, you have not. Iron Gullen. Yes, I have. No, I, you haven't. Iron Gullen. You know what? Album. You're, you're, Sorry. you're, yes, you're mute for a while. Unmuted and I'll, I'll yes, ban I have. you. Okay, you know what? You're done. 